Hey, Jimmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Today's readings have been kind of triggering, so if you ain't in the mood to be triggered, you may want to tune out right now because I ain't had nothing. Yesterday, at least, I had a few good readings as far as, you know, people legit. Y'all have one of those readings where it was a legit, you know, twin flame union, but this is the dark side of the twin flame journey. So this is for a lot of singles, a lot of single mothers, a lot of single fathers, because that seems to be the new hot item on the market that people are looking for. People that don't got a lot of responsibility outside of themselves and maybe one to three children. And somebody that can keep the party going and people if the theme today seems to be people that are in unions and they acting like they're leaving that situation or they're unfulfilled in that situation, but they're not leaving. Their person knows about the other person, which would be you in this case. I don't know how this reading is going to turn out, but most of them have been turning out like that today. So we shall see. It's all playing animal, the one. The village. They want to do a village. Like, what the fuck is going on? Oh. Now they're trying to do the bring the polygyny back. Come on. You ain't even got enough money for that shit, huh? Give me a break. God damn. The one that gets the job done. I work. <laughs> the gym. They know this. I told y'all. Some people is gyms and then all of this is people that don't do no sh shadow work. You the gym, you don't do they don't do no shadow work. So they suck off and feed off of you. Succubus, incubus, vampire energy on two feet, man. Gnosis. And everybody knows. Like come on, come on. Swim flame shit done got out of control. It is so far from what the fuck. The, the purity and the righteousness of it really is. It's ridiculous. I I just won't take that shit serious. And not, uh, uh, no. You say twin flame to me, I'm fucking around and start laughing in your face. And you think I'm a total whack job. The medallion. So, I mean, this is dealing with people that got, like, if you got a piece of jewelry, you need to let it go. Either give it away or clean it, clear it, you know, because it's got to build up the energy on it. Could be something you wear on a charm necklace, something you wear a ring you wear. Shit, it could be earrings. Something you wear a lot. You need to either give it away as a family heirloom, or you need to clean it, save it, or put it in sunlight. Because this doesn't get too much energy on it. And it could be bringing you some form of um, lethargy, draining you. The bridge. Everybody looking for a bridge over troubled water. I'm trying to tell y'all. Looking for somebody to sustain their fucking life. On that, I need my Moonbi shit. One thread, one soul. Like, no, it's not a village. No. Who said, who told you that? Where you are getting this? Where you coming up with this shit at? The lover. Honey, baby. It's the same shit. <laughs> this is creepy. You know what I mean? Good God Almighty. Somebody may have gave you something. You need to get that motherfucking shit away. So I'm attached to that shit. For real. A promise ring or some shit. I'm telling you that don't marry you. I'll marry you. I'm going to marry you. You lying, lying. And Spirit told me, I looked at the, I keep looking at this in front of this, my deck. And Spirit said that they be like this with the person that they tell you they unhappy with. Once they leave you, they be with the other person like this. There's somebody they build with for a little minute. They got a different kind of vibe going on. You know what I'm saying? But they'll tell you they unhappy. And this woman knows. Or this man, if you a man, and it's a woman playing games, the man knows. They playing games. They just need a third person to keep this energy alive. You feel me? I'm like, damn. I 
was fucked up, you know? Shitch. Shitch. I am going to marry you. I am a Capricorn. I am a Pisces. So yeah, I may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Pisces. Running their booze. Some people be leaving comments and YouTube or lie themselves just be blocking. I can't even see that shit. People, demons coming out all over the damn place. I am a cancer. Y'all may want to check out cancer reading if y'all dealing with a cancer. I'm going to text you when you least expect it. I think this came up in Taurus where uh, cancer is reading. So clearly y'all in separation from somebody that's playing a whole lot of games. They gave some of y'all some pearls or some, something. I don't know. Get rid of that shit. They carry some negative energy. I saw you the other day. Did you see me? This was in somebody's cancer or Taurus reading. So they be checking traps on you. Be careful. They didn't ghost you. They was protecting you from their ex. That's what they say, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on the star that shine at night. Whatever you do, don't put the blame on you. Just blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't put the blame on you. Blame it on the rain. Blame it on anything. But don't put it on yourself, even though you the motherfucker doing it. Unbelievable. King of Pentacles, some of y'all may be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. Be strong. It's a Taurus energy. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Taurus. Be strong in the mind space. Watch out for Towers. Endings, upheaval, divine intervention, misfortune, disruption, fighting, liberation, catastrophe, accidents, ancestors' warning, old ways being destroyed. Mm, divine intervention. Yeah, man. Some of y'all are God's chosen elect, and he tearing shit up. Like, no, you're not about to be with them. I don't give a damn. You understand this singular energy until I say so. Nine of Pentacles. And I'd rather be under a law of God's divine protection. Then a fool, not the fool. You know what I'm saying? Your whole life or death situation. If you tell a motherfucker go fuck it on, they gotta go to fuck it on. Keep your protection up. Help a lot, help you. Or help God, whatever you call, whatever by whatever name, you know what I'm saying? The oneness. The lovers. There's two lovers cards. Come up. We gonna see. We gonna see Jimmy. This for a whole different set of Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> the Empress. Oh, Lord. Some of y'all got pregnant. Ooh, I don't know, honey. Let's see. Be strong. You're going to have to. You need mental strength for what's about to go down. Because there's something about to go down. I'm telling you. But it's going to be divine intervention. You ain't going to see it as that. It's going to be divine intervention disguised as a tower moment. But it ain't. It's to liberate you and get you free from this bullshit you done got yourself in for some of y'all. Some of y'all think this shit is what it is, and it ain't. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I got to tell you the truth. What you do with it is none of my business. The blood is off of my hands. Man. These people got extensive past life trauma. Fuck this life trauma. They got past life trauma. So that means they got trauma upon trauma. They ain't even dealing with this current life trauma. Now they done went into their extensive past life trauma. Just imagine that shit. They ignored they, this life. They ignored that trauma. So now they done went over into past life trauma. They drowning in shadows. And some of them got your ass sleeping naked all kind of shit. Fake as a $4 bill. Hesitance to help. 
want you to sleep naked, but they ain't there. Determined like a motherfucker. You can do bad all by yourself. Nine of Pentacles again. Self care. <laughs> Oh, they acting like they care and shit. You tell them your problems, but they can only listen. They can't never give you no money. And if they do, they hesitant to help you. You know what I'm saying? You see a real come out their ass, but you be saying, well, I shouldn't really be depending on because technically, we not really together. Why you ain't together if y'all done been talking to this motherfucker? Awareness. Oh, really? <laughs> so when y'all get, when y'all get free, they're going to become aware. Some of y'all are aware right now. After hearing this message, that y'all want to be single. Because what I'm seeing is ringing true like a motherfucker. They're coming in the name of love. They really are. But y'all the one. Y'all the chosen one. Many are called, but chosen are few. I'm trying to tell you. Some of y'all are the chosen few. Some of y'all are mothers. Some of y'all may have two children or twins. I may have had it with this person, maybe not. Get some uh, fish oil. They unbother too. They feel like they got it in the pocket. Let's come right up under the lover's card. They unbother. They got you. That's how they feel. That's how some of them feel. But God about to have their ass under spiritual arrest with their old hesitance to help ass. And some of them are married. You know what I'm saying? Some of them talk that smaller circle shit. Some of them got into meditation because of you. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all feel happy and safe when y'all around this person, but it ain't nothing but a residual energy that they bringing back from the house that they just left that's really their happy and safe place while your shit stay on fire. It's a whole self-interest situation. And like I said, they got you when you were vulnerable. Self-interest. Illusions. And a bunch of motherfuckers working together. You understand? Sometimes this person in the red is they woman telling them what to do. You ain't a part of it, but you think you is, but you not in the way that you think you are. You in a three-ring circus. They don't bother. I do know that. They got you. They got you pregnant. They really feel like they got you. So be ready for some upheavals. That's all I can say. They saw you out the other day. Some of y'all got children. They met you after you had the children. From somebody else that did the same kind of trash. They saw you out the other day. Sometimes they'll see you out with your children struggling, trying to get groceries out the car, all kind of shit. They'll see you, but they won't get out to help you kind of motherfuckers. Hesitant to help. It's working together for your good. I feel like this is God saying that it'll all work together for your good. Not this person that's going to put themselves in the position of God. Because y'all going to need mental strength for whatever is about to happen, Gemini. I'm just telling y'all. You got to take care of yourself. You have to set healthy boundaries for yourself. Because people be unbothered. They go on with their lives. They build their castles and their homes or whatever they got. And you sitting there in a singular energy waiting for a lover that's hesitant to help every five minutes. All they do is lend an ear to your woes, but they only lend an ear to gauge how much they can play you a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Can I borrow your food stamp card? Can I, can I, can I? Bullshit. Trickster. Manipulators. Answer prayer. Some of y'all been praying. Tell me this truth for this motherfucker. Something ain't right. I don't know, but I'm feeling like a fool, you know? Oh, did he? You will make union. Y'all go back and forth with that. That's why some of y'all praying. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't care of shit. That's that two of coins. It's all going to work together for your good. All they doing is dropping off hot packages that they got in their scrotum sack from their girl at the house. You know what I'm saying? Calling themselves a divine masculine, but ain't nothing divine about them. This, ooh, you will make union come up in reverse, y'all, over here on this working together for your good. So you know what that's about. They lying on Why would they unbother that?
Take her warning. Supernatural powers. Yeah, some of y'all got supernatural powers. You really do. Tap in. For real. End of a dark night of the soul. Lotus blossoming. Expansion. 8th to 12th dimension. Some of y'all going to have some soul expansion. Where y'all going to be able to reach up to the 8th and the 12th dimension if y'all into that type of astral flight. Drink more water. Yeah, they're just jumping off in you. I mean, I know that sounds kind of harsh, but it is what it is. You got to transmute for them. You just transmute their shadows so that they can keep keep on keeping on kind of shit. With the, with the person they really with. You create alchemy for them. That's why they like you. That's why it's confusing. They feel like unconditional love, like they really love you, like they really care. They really do in a weird kind of way because you keep the party going. Emotionally intellectual. Some of y'all do have emotional intellect. So keep calm and do what you need to do. Start researching and studying more. Y'all know y'all like the sound of that. But y'all know y'all the most intelligent of the zodiac. Gemini's. Yup, y'all the most intelligent sign of the zodiac. Next is Virgo. Both uh, Mercury rule. Thinking planet. Some of y'all had love children. Y'all did. Some of y'all pregnant now by this energy, or you may find out you are, or you already had a child. You may not have even had it by them, but when they met you, you had just had a child, or you may have been pregnant, whatever the case. Y'all got little children, but they are love children because you are a love child person. You love. you the epitome of love. You're a crystal child, a rainbow child, an indigo, um, or a born leader, healer. You bring people good luck, so that's why they naturally attracted to you, too. So, I mean, all our crystal children, too. Divine nature. Yeah, y'all are divine uh, masculine or feminine energies. Not the person. They were born karmic. That's why they're going off into a whole nother, you know, extensive past life trauma. Because they don't clean up their karma lifetime after lifetime. These motherfuckers be born with karma. And they just keep on. And curing karma after karma after karma. It was one philosopher, I think he was a Hindu, when he said, well, if if life is so fucked up, why don't we all just jump in the, in the ocean and kill ourselves and be done with it overnight? He said, you know why we can't do that? Because we came here to clean up karma. Some people don't clean their shit up. They just keep usurping light from other people so they don't have to do no work. Unbothered, you know what I'm saying? Danny, I tell you, you got the best seat in the house. You ain't got, I ain't there if you ain't with you. You know what I'm saying? I just come over from time to time. You know what I'm saying? I try to sell it to you, like you know, whatever the fuck. Mind control, exactly. Body and mind. A lot of y'all been praying about this shit. Real life. Y'all need to get some divination tools and get into it. Clear y'all energy and get real about that shit. I'm going to quit playing with y'all's spiritual journey because y'all doing other people's work and they ain't even going to end up with nothing. You just get doing work. You a clean-up woman. Like that song say, making it easy for the clean-up woman to get their man's well. Oh, yeah. A life or death situation. Okay, I'm just saying. A whole life or death situation. Oh, boy. All right, Gemini. This has been the Dark Side of the Twin Flame Journey. I pray that this helps someone. If you feel in the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, they tell you it's freedom in this love. You're free to do whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? You ain't tied down to nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, just think about it, you know what I'm saying? I make good law to you, baby. You ain't got to do nothing for me. But yet they still be hesitant to help you or this and that. You want something real, so stop settling for less. Love and life.